Uh, the study that we just conducted was to examine the corporate social responsibility policies of around 250 companies. Uh, we, we spoke not with the leaders of corporate social responsibility at these companies, but rather with top business uh, strategists and business leaders to get a sense of how important CSR was to the way that they think about their business and that they manage their business on an ongoing basis. Corporate social responsibility is, is basically a description of the role that a company plays serving many different stakeholders, uh, and in particular the role that the company plays in supporting society. So uh, over time there's been a lot of theory about what the role of business actually is. Um, now, nowadays, more than ever, uh, business has a much more salient role, an important role to play in supporting society and indeed many businesses are trying to find ways to simultaneously do well financially at the same time as they're doing uh, something positive for society and that's really what corporate social responsibility is about. There are a number of different interesting findings that came out of the study. The first is that many companies today are being very uh, prospective about how they view corporate responsibility. They're not looking at it solely as a way of meeting regulatory requirements. What they are doing is looking at vehicles to use uh, corporate social responsibility to drive new revenue streams, to retain and grow customer loyalty, uh, to, to uh, seek new market share and even to develop new products and services. So there's been a pretty significant shift uh, from the old days where corporate responsibility was really seen as a regulatory uh, issue to today where it's seen as a revenue generation opportunity. There are a number of energy companies, for example, who have started to explore new vehicles for the creation of energy, in particular focused on very poor areas of, for example, India or China, where there's very little current and existing infrastructure. A number of energy companies are going far beyond the traditional way that they, for example, deliver electricity or petroleum and helping these communities locally develop new sources of power generation based upon multiple different types of fuel for flexibility. So in these cases the energy companies are going way beyond what they've traditionally done in terms of their core businesses to find opportunities to help the poor uh, poor nations of the world or poor regions of the world at the same time as they're, they're spotting new opportunities to drive revenues from new products. One of the most critical drivers of the importance of corporate social responsibility in the last few years has been the internet. What it's done is that it's allowed consumers two things. One is greater visibility into the actions that companies are actually taking so they know more about what companies are doing today than they ever have in the past. The second thing that it's doing is it's allowing consumers to band together to create advocacy groups much easier than they could ever do in the past and to exert influences on corporations once they've banded together. So as a result of this, companies are doing two things. One is they're increasing the transparency with which they operate so that they are not being pried open by consumers, but they're rather sharing much more openly and leveraging the power of the visibility that the consumers have to their benefit i.e. they want to know when something's amiss and they will volunteer to take care of problems when they arise. Uh, the other thing that they're doing with respect to the advocacy issue is to drive new opportunities to collaborate and interact with the consumer so that they're getting feedback and support from the consumers on a day-to-day -day basis relating to both their products and services as well as the way in which they conduct business within different communities or even overseas. There are major stakeholder groups that um, are a part of the uh, company's CSR landscape. The first is customers, right? They're the ones that tend to have the greatest uh, and sometimes most influential ability to change the direction of the company. The second is shareholders, and in particular, some of the most senior shareholders in an organization, the most influential shareholders are the ones that seem to care the most about CSR and are finding CSR to be literally a board level issue. So, uh, and, and why is that the case? It's because CSR has the ability to build up or damage a brand almost instantly. So because of that, because there's high risk but also high opportunity, it has become a board level issue for many companies. There are three additional uh, constituents that are important. Employees are a very important constituency. What we're finding is that the motivation, especially of, of younger people entering the workforce, is very significant, meaning they're very interested in finding companies to work for that have some level of social consciousness, mainly with respect to uh, 
regulations. Uh, governments and NGOs play a very strong role in, in managing those and developing those, so obviously they're a core constituency for companies as well. Um, arguably the most important group of constituents is a company's customers, and what we found is that three-quarters of the companies we surveyed didn't understand any of the expectations that their customers had about their CSR activities. And beyond that, only 16% of them had engaged the customers in any way to find out more about what the customers were looking for. More than two-thirds of the companies we spoke with see CSR really as a new revenue generation play, or at least the ability to create stronger connections and, and retention of market share with their core customers. So it's very much a growth play as opposed to a risk mitigation play. Today, green is getting the most attention in the press and certainly is a, a critical issue for companies to consider uh, as part of their CSR efforts. However, customers care about other issues, including labor practices. So a company might be satisfied that they've addressed all the requirements uh, in terms of green or their carbon footprint, but if they've got uh, illegal labor practices taking place somewhere in the world, chances are that the consumers that are sensitive to green issues are also going to be sensitive to labor management issues. The first is they've got to get a better handle on what the customer's expectations are of the company and build ways in which they can become both more transparent and more interactive with the customers. The second thing companies need to do is they need to embed corporate social responsibility thinking and action into the way that they run the core business. CSR has got to become core to the way that the business operates. The third thing a company needs to do is engage its entire employee population as the engine for driving new CSR opportunities. CSR will have a profound impact on business going forward. The reason is because consumers care about this issue and they're making buying decisions based upon CSR performance of companies.